Now then, first one coming up, we're gonna see Dong Shen's Wax Artist coming out for week 8 day, or first match of week 8. Surprisingly, it's a Wax Artist coming out first. Uh, ACT Sen, let's see who's he playing. Professor, it's a Professor, a Professor Anti, fair enough. You know, Professor Anti, fair enough, and our Persona trait will be Trump Card Detention alongside with one stack of Fast Pallor Breaking, and we do have... I think, uh, no, that's not Rage, that, that's something else, I forgot the personal name, but anyways, in a situation like this in which you have 68, 88% wax, it's barely 40 seconds into the game, but for the next right here, first it will immediately register, and they've barely touched the cipher, which is really unfortunate in this situation right now, lands two more wax on towards the... On towards the professor the forwards also on his way the only good thing about the survivors in this area is the fact that forward is nearby for the stun but even if forward comes you can just immediately change targets for the forward here considering the fact that dong shen knows how long or how much balls the forward has consuming order for him to stun that long fox using the remaining of his balls which is in tuba but also at the same time forces psychologist to use the whistle here uh you could call it quite an even exchange but in a situation like this in which you already open face too. It's gonna be one. Uh, uh, Dongshen needs to land like one more wax on towards the forward, right? He needs to land one more wax on towards the forward in order for him to land the blob wax. But it does seem like the blob wax will be coming out first here because the wax on forward has already been depleted. But in a situation like this, in which your forward has been immediately changed targets. They've been they've they've barely gotten two cipher machines done. It's not too bad, but in a situation like this, you're gonna have to sell. You are going to have to sell in a situation like this. There's no more, no less you can do. Including the fact that Sen ciphers in this area. Sen will Oh, that didn't lock surprisingly. But Don't X will try lock that cipher machine once again. But it does seem like the first officer. No, not the first officer, sorry. The professor is the one taking on the wax right now. And the current is crouching down to give tonight is it does seem like we're gonna full on sell but if that's the case for for sen he needs to leave now you see because sen is the best next chase sen is genuinely speaking the best next chase for don x in a situation like this and also do realize that don x has also has used trump card to change into her teleport right now so as long as anti-current doesn't come out here it should still guarantee a tie Unless something odd happens. The only reason why we're not coming out to rescue is because of phase 2. The moment that anti-current comes, it's going to be one hit on anti, one hit on forward with no items. Right? Especially with the fact that you don't have tide as well. So, immediately changing out here, looking towards Sen. Sen also rotating away, which isn't that much of a bad idea. But, here's the catch. The catch is the fact that everyone is one hit. It's, it's, everyone is getting countered by Wax artists now. This team comes, gets heavily countered by Wax. And don't X. I've I never seen him play Wax. So, this one wax artist coming in is very surprising very very surprising uh 20 percent wax 36 percent wax on towards the Ooh, 84 percent wax that's quite a bit right here trying to bait out the flywheel and it does seem like dungeon has quite a bit of an upper hand bait out the shell as well that is quite greedy there from don exercise you see because like because like uh, no any 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 one of us would just immediately hit but baiting out the shell right there simply allows dong shen to catch up towards this professor regardless of what happens and now the professor jumps down here it's gonna be a no uh attack recovery hit and it's now a max presence uh max presence wax artist there's no mercenary by the way there is no mercenary they've exchanged a They've exchanged a forward for a first. No, they, they they use a forward instead of a first officer. And that, that's no no no. We shouldn't decode that cipher machine. Drop drop drop. There's another cipher machine on the inner side. Ooh, I think Moem is dead here. Moem in a genuine situation. Moem is genuinely speaking dead here, right? Because drop drop should have come back towards our cipher machine. Even if it's at 52 percent, Sen can sit. Sen can sit. But wasting 15 seconds right there. Wasting 15 seconds right there was not the best choice. Oh, Antiquarian missing that as well. Uh, you might as well, you might as well, you might as well, you might. Oh, no! We might. We did manage to disarm here, but it's not going to be enough because in this situation, we can immediately get the. She's down. Ah, uh, she's down. She's down. She's down. She's down. That's not good. That's jet. That's not good. We, we know, Dong Shen knows where the psychologist is as well. We're cheering in closely towards the other two ciphers. Teleport is also ready from Don X's side. And now all we need to do is to look for the cipher machine progress from both sides. And the moment that Antiquarian gets up, 
if she decodes the cipher machine, it's going to be an immediate teleport. But we're still trying to scout for the psychologist here. We should be able to get tinnitus. In a situation like this, we should be able to get tinnitus. Sadly, Donex doesn't really see Psycho from the window right there, since the window is transparent. But looking up from here right now... It's going to be a four-man elimination, sadly. It will be a four-man elimination. We do see drop dropping down right there. No pun intended, of course. Anti current getting up at the same time as well. For the survivors right now, it's going to be important for anti current to look for extra items. There's no point in anti current actually getting. How do I say? There's actually there's no point in anti current um, decoding because it's just going to be need, it'd be an immediate teleport down. But for drop right here, and uh, there's no way a psycho can contain for any longer than this if i was doing x i probably would have just locked this locked the window right there so drop can't use it ever again but ooh, that's not that's 86 that's 86 that's 86 we're nearly there we're gonna not be able to land you're not gonna be able to land in a situation like this but the moment that you get towards that window we can hot oh we, we kind of hot wax there i don't think you can land it oh you can land it ah that's 20 ms versus 100 ms i guess ggs because you can't do it in and in, in Europe, unless you're in NA. You can do it in NA, you can do it in Europe. Because, like, usually the moment you stun, you cannot wait more than a second to hot wax, or else you won't be able to get the damage. But I guess, I guess that's the difference between 20 MS and 100 MS. Well, there goes my life. But with anti current going down right here, drop, drop wouldn't get up as fast because there's no flywheel in a situation like this. But even if drop gets up, Dungshen is already there. So there is no point in playing anymore, which is a little bit unfortunate. Drop with no flywheel will get an immediate charge attack hit down. Let's move on towards the second half then, shall we? Now then moving on towards second half here, coming out as Nightwatch here, where the team comp is anti-Korean mechanic, mercenary, and a barmaid. It's not too bad, but I guess the only unfortunate thing is that Mech has pulled quite far away right now. Uh, chasing against chasing barmaid is kind of hard for Nightwatch though, but also at the same time it does seem like Nan will be mind gamed here by Chi. It's gonna be an insolent detention which impulsive alongside with one stack of berserker, alongside with a drop down speed boost. But the barmaid right here should be able to guarantee that normal hit. From what I'm seeing right here as now, even if like if if barmaid drinks up here, she I think she's gonna be forced. Oh no, she isn't. Oh, she has flywheel and windows. Ah, okay. That makes things a whole lot different. She's flywheel and windows. Uh, but with you right here, that is a very interesting thought process. I would not have jumped down. I would not have jumped down if I decided to walk towards that area. But anyways, that's going to be an immediate hit over. The pallet didn't get anything. Barmy still doesn't have a drink just yet. We flywheeled. She knows this as well. That means we're going to get a normal hit right there. Ah, my man is crying right now. Well, I mean, the good news for Chia here is he can guarantee a tie. That's the only good news for him. Vaulting over that one Windows speed boost kind of hurts the Nightwatch quite a bit because you can just vault it over once again and then Nightwatch does not have any energy to use so it's going to be a slow vault. But the next Typhoon is going to be ready soon. I mean that the, 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 there... Ooh, we didn't get anything there. Hit! Nicely done. It's going to be three and a half Cypher machines done in a situation like this. Because... Like, it's, yeah, it's 3.5 Cypher Machine. Even though it seems like it's only 3 Cypher Machine, it's actually 2.5 Cypher Machine. Why? Mech Cypher, and then Mech Stall, and then Ikurin is going to open the 5th Cypher already. So there's a really, realistic speaking, only 1.5 Cypher left. Realistically speaking, 1.5 Cypher Machine left. And if we see right here, Mercenaries are already on the way in as well. We probably will rescue at a 25% mark and just leave Barmaid down somewhere. As long as Barmaid downs near a corner and Mercy doesn't give the double hit right here, every should be fine and dandy with the last three cypher machines on the field right now there's three survivors well i mean there's three survivors decoding here as well including mech and mech stall we're gonna get a normal hit and a normal rescue merc will fly in towards the deepest part of basement and barmaid will rush out as fast as possible towards somewhere where it's really hard for the hunter to chair Mm, it's a bit unfortunate, but in situations like this, Mercenary needs to get ready to get out and actually be very closely towards the chair. Because, like, the Cypher machine is more than enough, but it seems like we're going to have Mercenary going in towards rest. You know, Mercenary is going to go decode the last of his 75% Cypher machine. And Mech being able to finish her Cypher, she's going to come in next. But the problem is Mech should be a little bit closer towards the chair, though. 
That's the issue. Mech should be closely towards the chair. Mercenary was forced to use an elbow pad to come out there now. That was Mech's fault. That was Mech's fault. Mech was Mech was already near the pallet. Mech was already near the pallet. Right there, there was no point in mechanic going in and trying to decode mercenary cipher machine. There was genuinely speaking no point. Mech decodes slower than a merc right now because of the uh, two survivors being a half health. But now Chi wants to aim for more. Antiquarian will have to go and finish merc cipher. But hey, 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 merc, what are you doing? Hey, 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 hey. And uh, Mech is Mech is they sh they won't they won't pop the cipher they will not pop the cipher here it's too risky it's too risky it's too risky they teleported whoa 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 um that that okay that's a speed boost mind game no no mind game that's fine gets a hit over the pallet right there very nicely done the silver did not use flywheel uh but the but the but the gate is open so let's congratulate the tie for though and yeah moving on towards game two then shall we